Hello mama, Dr. Nikki here. I am so excited to be with you today. Today I am gonna talk about nutrition. And full disclaimer, I am not a nutritionist, nor am I a dietitian, nor have I had any formal education in nutrition. So if you wanna just bypass this video, go right ahead. But what I am gonna share is my experience working with postpartum women for a decade. So while I don't have the degrees in nutrition, I have definitely seen themes with women that have healed more quickly and women who have not healed more quickly. And surprisingly, actually to me also, was one of the things that allowed women to heal a little bit more quickly was their nutrition. So take this with a grain of salt, pun intended, and talk to your doctor first and foremost about any sort of postpartum diet. But what I'm going to talk about is mostly the postpartum diet. Pregnancy, I say, girl, you eat what you want. <laughs> but postpartum, because your body just sustained this injury, so to speak, um, having a diet that helps facilitate healing can be very, very therapeutic and very healing. So some of the things that I have noticed that are helpful. One is you don't want to eat a lot. The quantity of food should be minimal, especially the first two weeks after you give birth. Your body not only just underwent this trauma injury called childbirth, but for the last month before childbirth, everything was super stretched out, right? And your blood wasn't flowing very well and your lymphatics weren't flowing very well. And so, and actually, I can't believe I almost forgot this one, your organs were literally shoved aside as that baby boy or baby girl was taking over in that abdominal cavity of yours. And just because that baby is gone now doesn't mean that all those organs just poof, magically went back into place. I mean, your uterus is still the size of a seven or eight month pregnant woman if you just had a baby a month ago. It takes time for the uterus to contract and come back to its place just like it takes time for your stomach and your diaphragm and all of your intestines, there's like 30 feet of intestines in there, that require time to come back to the places that they were. And why this matters is in the visceral world, visceral fancy term meaning organs and organ systems inside of you, what I call the marine world, the inner world in the body, where the organ is positioned can determine how well it functions. So if your stomach is still stuck up here because baby took over and then you deliver and two days later you eat this ginormous salad, odds are you're probably not gonna digest it very well. So my first recommendation is eat a small amount of food, maybe two or three times a day. Again, your body is very much in a healing phase. And it's like if you had the flu and you were homesick, what would you be eating? Probably soups, maybe a little bit of toast, nothing crazy and nothing substantial and most likely probably not nothing raw or cold. Which leads me to the second point is, again, I have found that People who eat warm foods and drink warm beverages like tea, um, it tends to just work with the body a little bit better postpartum. This is specifically in the first two weeks, but if you can push it for a month, that would be amazing. But the heat um, in many cultures is very healing. A lot of acupuncturists will use heat lamps. Um, tradition, traditional Indian cultures will put warm coals under the postpartum woman's bed to facilitate this inner inner healing. Um, and I know here in America, we don't really talk about that as much, but there is something to say for heat. I mean, even if you had a sore muscle, what do we do? We put a heating pad on it. So I like to operate, and because I've seen it, the heat within actually makes a difference also. So my big recommendations are small meals, um, two or three times a day, I kind of say watch your baby and eat as your baby is eating and rest, of course, as your baby is resting. Um, whether that means actually sleep or not doesn't matter, but lying down, huge benefit to the postpartum mama, huge benefit. Um, I talk about that in more videos. Um, but 
Eating small amounts of food will not challenge your digestive system in such a way that it can't rise to the occasion and can't digest your food very well. So eating small warm meals usually results in better digestion, which means less bloating, less gas, less constipation. Um, the second part of that is the heat component. Also many cultures have their opinions on healing herbs or healing spices. I personally don't have any favorites, um, but what I do find is the warm, slow cooked, nutrient dense foods like slow cooked stews and soups um, or curries is way more easy for your body to digest after having a baby than a big sandwich or um, a huge raw salad or ice water. So again, not a nutritionist, not a dietitian, and never ever go against any medical diet that your doctor puts you on. That being said, take this video with a grain of salt and just know that I'm coming from a place of experience in what I have seen other women um, have success with. So if you have any questions about that, reach out to me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye mama.